Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome back to the second installment of my Distress Oxide Ink Blending Combo Series. You guys loved the very first video and I loved seeing all of your different um, play times with it, all of your different creations over on Instagram. I wanted to point out that you can use the hashtag that's over in the corner here to share on Instagram when you use these color combos, or if you just wanna show your blending or things like that, it's a really fun kind of thing to do. And you can click on that hashtag and, and go see everyone and stuff. It's really cool. So today I'm going to continue in that vein of ink blending combos, and I'm going to explore blues and greens, maybe a little bit of brown. Um, definitely a departure from last week's more red and, and kind of purple yellow combos. So hope you guys enjoy, and let's get into it. Okay, so here we are, week two of Distress Oxide Color Combos, and before we get into all of the blending, you're going to see it on screen here, I'm going to just cover a little, two little housekeeping topics. The first one is today's the first day of February, so I have updated the giveaway form for the month of February. If you'd like to... Um, Put your name in the hat for some giveaways. There's a link down below in the video description. And I am planning to do a big clean out, including um, some Christmas stuff from this last holiday card series. So now is the prime time to get in on those giveaway forms. So I have one more housekeeping item, but I want to talk about this while you're seeing it on screen. Um, that blueprint sketch color really kind of dulls out when you put mode lawn on top. And I didn't have enough space to really blend out to the bright, bright blue. So it's a little bit more subdued on my sample here. I'm going to try to brighten it up a little. But it doesn't get much more bright than that. If you want to make sure that you have Blueprint Sketch on your color combo for that one, you're going to want to make sure you have plenty of room for it to really blend and fade into that blue. Okay, anyway, the second housekeeping item has to do with the hashtag Christina's Oxide Combos. Um, I had a comment from someone saying that uh, they had received some comments on their Instagram with people, I don't know if they were adding the hashtag or requesting the, the hashtag for an image that she had shared months ago. So obviously these combinations aren't, you know, like just mine or anything new. Um, or things like that. You don't, I mean, if anyone <laughs> decides to use the combos and doesn't use my hashtag, it's totally okay. It's not, you know, I'm not claiming these as my own. That hashtag Christina's Oxide Combos is just so that you can click on the hashtag when you're on Instagram and you can see all of my color combos, the ones that I've put together for this mini series. So you can see them all in one spot and maybe see some inspiration from fellow crafters. So that's purely what the hashtag is for. Um, I, I didn't intend for anyone to um, quote unquote police Instagram and put the hashtag on anything else. So I just want to make sure you guys know that it's just so you can follow along, um, you know, so later you can look it up and see all of these together. So I've gone through two color combinations, mostly blues and greens. Um, I wanted to stick with blues and greens for this video, but Bundled Sage and Stormy Sky are two colors that are very muted, and I thought they would look really good together along with Antique Linen. I think this color combination, while not bright and really saturated like the other ones, I think it's really rather beautiful um, just because of the nature of these colors. They really blend well together and um, I think they look really great. Like, I don't know that I would ever put like a super bright, intense color with any of these three shades. So they work well together because of that. So the very last color combo I'm gonna show you, um, I'm gonna bring in some brown. I'm usually not a big brown girl. <laughs> I don't like a lot of brown earth tones, but I really like blues fading into brown and we're gonna get into some other shades later on in the mini series going into brown. I'm gonna do some brown color combos. But I really love how this one turned out. I like the really light tumbled glass fading into uh, faded jeans and then into ground espresso. I think it's a really great color combo. And I think it would make a really great sky. In fact, I think any of these would, be make, would make a great sky. But um, this one in particular, because it has that brown ground at the bottom, I think that could be really, really pretty. 
So my four color combos today, um, I'll focus on blues and greens. Um, let me know in the comments down below what colors you want me to use for next week. I'll take some, um, some suggestions. Um, I mean, there's oranges, there's purples. I mean, there's a lot of different things I can focus on. Just neutral colors I think would be fun. So those are the four color combos for today. I hope you guys enjoyed these. Um, once again, the image with all the color names on them is on screen right now or over at my blog and Instagram if you want to check that out. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you love those color combinations. I really love all that blending. I can't wait to use these colors on cards. So on screen, I've got some more ink blending videos for you to check out, including last week's video one in this mini series. So if you wanna check that out, you can click on it. And make sure you hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so that when I post more videos like this with ink color combos, you will not miss out. So thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on Monday for a new video.